In this video, I'll show you how to display your WooCommerce product variation as a list in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and throughout this video, I'll show you how to achieve a similar setup to this one here. So here we've got two different variable product and here you can see each individual variation is being listed in this list format here. So the customers can quickly go ahead and select the particular variation that they want. They can go ahead and select the quantity as well, for example here, and then they can just bulk add it to cart or even add it to cart individually, okay? So if I just wanted this particular variation, then I can just click on it here and it's added to my basket fine, okay? It's worth noting that if you wanna display your product variation just like this on the shop page, then I've got a different video for that and I'll link it in the description below and on screen right now. And if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP product table plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said, Said, let's head over to our dashboard okay so assuming you've downloaded the AOV up a product table plugin the next step is just to go ahead and upload that plugin so we'll go plugin add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this we suite menu here in the future it might say AOV up so once on this menu just go ahead and click activate enter in your license key once you've done so it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section Okay, and then from here, we can just scroll down and then we can just go ahead and enable the product table plugin, okay? Right, so that's enabled fine. So we can click manage. And then in your case, you'll just go ahead and create a new product table, okay? Since I've already created one, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this one, which I've already created, okay? Okay, so for the title, just give it a name. It's just for internal purposes. In the event that you've got multiple product tables, then you know what each product table is for, okay? So now we'll just click on order form information. And then here we can just drag and drop the different columns that you want to show on your product table. Okay, so for example, if you wanted to show the product name, you'd go ahead and drop name here. We can drag and drop as well to rearrange it. We can delete it and we can actually rename it as well. So instead of saying name, we could say product, for example, and then just click update and then we can X this off. Okay, since we've already got the product name here, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. So here I've got the product image, the product name. We've got this quick view option. So again, you don't need this option. It's only if you've got the quick view plugin installed, okay? So in fact, I'm actually gonna delete this quick view option. Short description, I've got the product category, the product price, and the product add to cart button, okay? These options, I'm just gonna leave it as default. Link to product page, uh, we'll select the name, okay? Now we'll go ahead and click on bulk add to cart. Okay, so here we're displaying the add to cart button and the checkbox option. So again, this is optional. For the add to cart behavior, we've got Ajax enable, um, quantities as well. Well, we've got the quantity selector on a product table and then here where it says variation settings we just want to go ahead and select separate row okay meaning we're listing each variation in its own individual row okay so that's fine now we'll click on order form control here for product filters we can go ahead and select this to be based on the um, columns or you can actually add custom filtering okay so again a lot of these options I'm just gonna leave as default design I'll just leave everything as default okay and we'll just go ahead and save changes here now we'll head back over to our main settings and since we've got this product table created and configured now here where it says shop page we're going to override our shop page layout with this particular product table okay so I'm going to select this product table here and I've done the same for the category page and the tag page as well. So then you can just hit save changes. And now when you view the shop page, we can see our variable product being listed as a single product here. So we can just go ahead and quickly add a particular um, variation to our basket and it just allows for a faster checkout experience, right? Okay, so we've got all our variations listed here and as well, we can bulk add to cart the specific um, variation that we want okay and that's a quick and simple way to display your product variation as a list as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible